Welcome everybody, welcome. As promised, 21 and a half hours later, the Pac-Man is back in action and I got a big, I'm, the fever is, I, I got the prescription of ripping last night, the fever subsided and the fever is back with some exceptional first class grade A ripping tonight, highlighted by our support our troops 1959 5th Series Cello Pack. Net proceeds go to Victory for Veterans. We'll be opening that up as our third pack of the day. Our first pack will be our 1985 Opeachy Wax Pack with Super Mario. And a special bonus, our 200th pack to be opened and sold out was the 1975 Topps Mini Baseball. Our 200th pack, be a little surprise in there, a little tip of the hat for the 200th uh, pack opening for the people that were in that pack that happened there so let's clear the field a little bit because i am the box breaking wax tearing soon to be cello ripping pack fresh card pulling pack manian devil i'm here to educate people on all aspects of sport card collecting and non-sport collecting i'm here to entertain to do my best to create some jokes make people laugh a little bit Make the evening nice, sit back, grab a drink, have some fun. But I'm also here to have everyone have a chance to pull a card of a lifetime for their collection, a card of a lifetime for their own personal collection, or something that they could possibly flip and make a lot of money with. That's going to be fantastic. I welcome everyone to the show tonight. Let's put these packs away. They'll be opened up in that order. Go over there, there, and there. We had a great show last night. A lot of wrestling packs were given out. A lot of promos. It was a fun night. A lot of things happening last night. Uh, pulled a lot of Hogan's. We opened up the 1998 Topps Chrome box. Uh, look at our site. We just listed this 1961 Fleer Baseball Greats 5 cent pack. Rare. It's not, not that it's rare enough. It's the second series. So it's a little extra, extra rare. What's up there, Kaz? Waste Kai. Hey, welcome there, Kaz. How you doing there, buddy? And this just got listed. It's a very nostalgic set. Uh, some good cards in there. Go check out the listing. Just posted up there. This hasn't been listed yet. I showed it last night. It's a 1970 Topps Pro Basketball Wax Pack. This will be uh, probably up over the weekend. Got some work to do. Will Chamberlain there worth a lot, a lot of money in that wax pack. Okay, so basically, a couple quick promos before we get to our first pack. Uh, let's see here. If you go to justripit.com, it's always important. Don't go right to the packs, as tempting as it is. Uh, you go right to our promo tab, it's to the right, you click on promos for you new customers that are watching for the first time. First purchase, if you create an account and spend $100 or more, you get 500 bonus reward points right away. It could be a pop-up giving you 10% or more. Look for everything that's there. Uh, on Tuesdays, we always have two times Tuesday. We have our Money in the Bank promo. We just listed and discussed this last night. Go to the website. Purchase 150 or more in any order, $150 or more in any order, only 10 spots. And if you're picked and randomized, number one, you open the briefcase, you get a free card on our site, any card. 
from 20 up to a several hundred dollars for free, virtually netting more than you actually spent if you actually win this and utilize it. Second place, you get an 85 Tops Wrestling Star Rack Pack, which is in here. And third place, an Opeachy Wrestling Pack. Three out of ten winners, money in the bank. Superb promotion on that aspect. Our other promo, let's slide them up there. Let's have the Nick hop over the Opeachy Pack. If uh, we have ten spots here, only five left as of the beginning of the show. Dave Kosnick, there you are. Welcome, Dave. Uh, buy any equity pack share, and we have four of them up there, and two are winding down, and 10 spots for any equity shareholder will get the number one person in that of the 10, so you have a 10 to one shot, will win this beautiful 1962 tops, the Switch Hitter Connects, Mickey Mantle, PSA 7, card number 318, spelled out right in the back, Mickey Mantle. Buy in the equity pack, first 10 people. Uh, first place, you get this beautiful Mickey Mantle card, probably worth about $200 or so. Our cheapest equity is maybe $165. You net plus $35, and you have an equity share in one of those packs. Second place, you get 1,000 points as a small constellation. And I'll go over very quickly, just very quickly, some of our equity packs. I'll show you the two that are winding down that I'm kind of excited about. A 1966 Topps Baseball Cello Pack. Only seven shares left. It's 287.50 a share. Gets you a 5% equity share in the pack. This is a Mickey Mantle Series Pack. If he's in there and it comes back at 10 because it's pack fresh, beautifully sealed, in this case with a little tattoo guy back there, uh, I'm estimating over $80,000. Willie Mays is in this series, over 40,000 that comes back at 10. And Pete Rose is even in this series, 20,000 that comes back at 10. 20 shares, only seven left. A historic, great night when this gets opened. Uh, we have a 57 we listed, 25 shares down to 20. I'll just show it real quick. Another Mickey Mantle series. We have a newly listed 65 wax pack. We just listed this last week, 20 shares. Only 165 a share. 18 shares left. In here could be that we talked about it, the embossed gold card. Joe Morgan, Juan Marichal, some great cards in here. Uh, great equity. And our last pack, only seven shares, 192.50 a share. A 19, a beautiful 1954 Bowman football wax pack. George Blanda, 25,000 or more in a 10. Frank Gifford, Y.A. Tittle, bunch of guys in here, seven chances at it. Uh, you buy this, you get into the Mickey Mantle Pro Motion, and you're ready to roll. Go to our rules and process for the equity pack. Understand it. Pick and choose. Cross your fingers. What's up, DJ? How's everybody doing? Red, Redbird. I didn't wear the red hat, and we got Redbird. How about that? Redbird, we do have a red pack, though, and we'll be opening this 59 cello. With the donation that net proceeds portion of the proceeds going to supporting our troops, and we got to—I can't wait to open that. I think the veterans are watching. That's going to be fantastic. Okay, we're going to go right into some ripping. My sports minute while I gather everything together. That Russian boxer died. I haven't had a boxer die in the ring in a long time. He passed away. Got hit in the brain. It happens. It's a sport. Nobody, nobody takes it for granted. Uh, what else happened in sports? Sandy Koufax, nice statue outside the renovated Dodger Stadium. And Dwight Gooden, thumbs down, arrested again. Oh, boy. Poor, real bad for Dwight Gooden. And if you want a chance at the AL pennant, Yankees play the Twins tonight on ESPN. There, there's your American League pennant game. Superb. Okay. First pack is a 1985 Opeachy Hockey Wax Pack, PSA 6. 35 cents at the time. It was in Canada, so you'll see some French writing on the cards and the wax wrapper itself. We're going to get right to ripping there. And before I get to that, for you coming in, getting some people's chance to get tuned in, our promo tonight, very simple. Spend $100 or more. You can read it right down here. Look right there. Yeah, there we are. Right there. Spend $100 or more and you get entered to win 2,000 bonus reward points near the end of the show. 
So basically, if you spend $100, you get entered. If you're the only one, you're a winner. Two people, you got a 50-50 shot. Three people, you keep doing the odds and the math, you'll see what happens. It's a good little promo. Gets you a chance to get some of your favorite cards and maybe get 2,000 points on top of the reward points you earn upon buying the actual card. So not that bad. Get in there. Maybe we'll see what happens. What's up there, Donnie? I was the 100th pack. Not one. Oh, wow. Are you in the, if you're in the 75 mini? No, that would have been excellent. I remember the 100th pack. And Don, we hit the 200th like, like a light speed. We, and 300, I think, is going to be even quicker because we're just ripping until these hands develop carpal tunnel. We're going to keep ripping with our ripper clipper. It's so dull. I may have to get it sharpened. There's been some battles here with the plastic. Okay. Let's see here. Let's load up our randomizer. We have 10 cards. We have 10 people. We're going to randomize the list five times on the rando or rando. It's all your preference. Let's go five times. One, two, three, four, five. Jeremy Melton top. Gary marks the last card in the pack. We shall load it all up with Super Mario. Boom. There we have it. There we have it. Let's move up the mat a little bit. And you know what time it is. Time to goggle up. Spend $100. If you're the only one, we'll just give you the 2,000 points. Won't be exciting. We won't spin a wheel or randomize. We'll still randomize. How's that? We'll randomize it, and you're going to just see your name re revolving there. Okay, another world, another pack bites the dust. Another one bites the dust in search of Super Mario. I don't know why the plastic goes off the walls and ceilings. There we go. All right. Oh. Okay. We don't need any wounded warrior here tonight. No, we're good. Plastic is very sharp. R.I.P. Just rip it. Another one bites the dust. And it is resting in peace because it's getting cracked open. A lot of ice chips here. Hey, one day it's gonna piece is gonna go off, knock the camera down, the whole studio is gonna be disarray. Need a Dyson. Oh my god, I mean come on, why would you like I need a chainsaw? Let me get a saw. There we go. I mean, there's ice just, if I stood up right, there's plastic all over the place. Holy cow. All right. All right. We get it. Wow. Got a lot of great packs up there, a lot. Anything that sells out tonight, we will open because we don't like the anticipation too much. Like trying to get the pack out of a graded, unsearched, and sealed PSA holder and then trying to get it out of the holder of the holder. And why do I have the goggles on? They're not prescription. How do you even get it in? All right, we've got goggles. Let's, let's take a little risk here. We have guys fighting for our country, taking bullets. I can salvage a little piece of plastic, possibly popping and hitting me in the eye. Actually, that would hurt. It's like 
burping a big baby. Got it. Remember, I always win when it comes to pack ripping, or else I wouldn't be called the ripper. Okay, let me get rid of these 14,000 pieces of sharp plastic. And yes, Okay, we are looking for Mario Lemieux, 10,000 and a 10. Gretzky's in here, always worth money though with a great one, 2,700 and a 10. Al McGinnis as well. Uh, a nine, I think Lemieux, a nine's worth over a thousand. Only 264 cards. Uh, the sticker's in there too. There could be a Lemieux sticker, we'll see. But Mike Bossy, Iserman, Coffee, Lanny McDonald, a couple of Hall of Famers in there. Jeremy Melton, you get the top card. Let me open it from the bottom. Oh, look, the gum stuck to the wrapper. Now that's see, these Canadians know what they're doing over there. They really do. What's up there, Sammy P? Sammy P in the house. Equity pack night. Can't wait. We're actually gonna call the owner of the charity. What charity pack? Charity pack. Yeah, charity pack, man. What's up, Joe? Oh, we're ripping, Joe. We're ripping. We're ripping big time here. Okay, wow. We start right off the bat with Jeremy Milton, Hall of Famer, right here. Paul Coffee, Gretzky sidekick, card number four. Oh, this is a sticker. See, I know it was a sticker. It says peel here. Paul Coffee sticker. I believe the Mario Lemieux sticker, uh, yeah, Larry, Mario Lemieux sticker is worth $700. Very nice. Let me just see something. There seems to be extra cards in here, so we're just going to keep randomizing. Sticker right there, Jeremy Melton, card number one. coffee another ray bork whoa what's going on let's see what's going on with this pack it was well worth the opening hall of famer chris grabikowski ray bork of the bruins oh my god it's another sticker they gave us an extra sticker we're just going right down the line ray bork sticker cool very nice Card number two, two stickers. Okay, let's keep moving. Number three, Scott Burton. You get Doug Keens, the Bruin goalie. Beautiful card. Beautiful card. He's wearing a whole thing around the neck. Very nice. Card number 133, Doug Keens. Four, Jeremy Voss. Rick Lanz, Vancouver Canuck. Rick Lanz. Card number 197. Very nice. Number five, Jose Santiago. You get Ron Sutter, one of the many Sutters that played in the league. Ron Sutter, center for the Broadway Bullies, card number six. Looking for Super Mario or the great one. Number six, Gary Marks. Kelly Kissio, great Red Wing player. Beautiful corners. Card number 101. And you get to learn a little French on the back also. Very nice. Number six there for Gary Mark. Sammy P, you're up. John O'Grodnick, another Red Wing, left winger for the Red Wings. O'Grodnick, that's just a good hockey name. Card number 70. Johnny O. Ooh. That's slippery. Number eight, Sammy P. You're up. Pierre 
Mondu, like the rando, Mondo. Pierre Mondo looks like he's about to have fight somebody. He is now retired back in 1985. Card number 211. Over $100 in a 10. Thank you. Slightly off centered. Just slightly. Number nine, Michael Miko. Brian Sutter. Another Sutter. I told you there's 100 Sutters in the league. Captain for the Blues. The Stanley Cup Blues for this year. 135, Brian Sutter. Very nice. And number 10, Doug Hallward. That's nicely centered. That is really nicely centered. He's raring to go, that guy. Even the ref's back there hiding. Card number 189. Beautiful card. Beautiful, nice card. And a bonus card. Oh, we got two bonus cards. Oh, wow, okay. We have Pelly Lindbergh and Yari Curry. Another Edmonton. Boy, we had two Edmontons and Paul Coffey, sticker, and Yari Curry. Yari Curry is definitely part of that Edmonton dynasty. Okay, here's what we got to do. What we have to do is let's randomize first and second. First, we'll get Pelly. Second, we'll get Yari Curry. We'll always take extra ones. Let's randomize the list three times for the bonus. So first gets Pelly. Second gets Yari Curry. Game-winning goals. Let's go three times. One, two, three. Gary Marks, you get Pelly Lindbergh. And Chris Grabkowski, you get the Yari Curry card. GM and Chris. What's up, Damiani Palilio? Give it each, Damiano. Very good. All right, nice pack. There's a couple of Hall of Famers, a couple of stickers, a couple of Sutters. Sutters are like the Molinas of the Major League Baseball. Let's give out some dividends for that pack. Gotta get a Mario. Mario, Mario, Mario. Mario Alonzo. Mario, Mario, Mario. Let's, let's randomize the list for the reward points, dividends, six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Michael Miko, you get 300 points. Gary Marks, 200. Sammy P, 100 points. Put right into your account. Congratulations on that. Very nice. Nicely done. Very nicely done. Okay. Thank you, everybody, for participating in that pack. As we prep and get ready for the more ripping. Spend $100 or more and get entered to win 2,000 points. If there's one person, you get it. Want to create the suspense? Two people, you get a 50-50 shot. That's how it works. And, you know, you might as well just spend a little more and you get entered into the, uh, is it the Mickey Mantle here? The Mickey Mantle promo. Spend, oh, that's for the equity pack. If there's an equity pack, you get it. You might as well spend another 50 more. You get thrown into the money in the bank entry as well. Okay. Let me clean up the board a little bit. What we have up coming up next is a little history here at justripit.com. Nineteen seventy five Tops Mini Baseball Wax Pack, our two hundredth pack here at JustRipIt.com. 
a little bit of history. What I'm going to do, since it's the 200th pack, everybody, all 10 of you, besides the reward points you earn, besides the dividend, everyone's getting 200 points for our 200th pack. Before I even open it, it's yours. 200th pack. I'll put up the names and we shall see who they are momentarily. Very nice. 200th pack. Of, that's a lot of cracking, ripping, plastic, everything down the line. Everything. I think that should be okay. Let's see. Okay, 200 pack. Everyone gets 200 points. Boy, I think Ronnie Jones is in there quite a bit. Let's randomize it. Let's see what it looks like. Six times on the Randu. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Ronnie Jones, top card, Carl hitting the bottom. Let me load up our customer list into the board. And there we have it. Once again, Ronnie Jones, Tim, Ronnie, Ronnie, Jeff, Ronnie, Ronnie, Tim, Ronnie, Carl. Everyone gets for the 200th pack and then 200 points on JustRipIt.com. Nicely done. History. Let's get the 300. Guess what? 300 points per person. Or you never know. You never know the mood of the ripper and what could happen. Okay. We have a, from a full box, I hope, I hope it was somebody didn't buy a box and only half the packs were missing, but it's a GAI 9.5 Topps Mini Wax Pack. Uh, Hank Aaron in a 10, 19,000, George Brett, 17, Joe Morgan, 10,000, and all those usual Hall of Famers, Munson, Brooks Robinson, Noah, Yastrzemski, Johnny Bench, Frank Robinson, Jim Rice, all 2,000 or more in a 10. And you got Fisk, Fergie, Winfield, Stargell, Garvey, Gibson, Carlton, Seaver, Perry, Carew, Carter, Hernandez, all worth some money. Key, MVP, Mantle cards are in here. 41 Hall of Famers in this set. And let's get a Kraken. Actually, we'll get a scissoring because no need for the Ripper Clipper. We go right for the Ripper Cheers. 200th pack. Look how nice and easy they're making it for me. I wanted a good battle. Okay. The 200th pack. With ease. And watch this. Just open up a little air. Oh, look, they actually put it in a nice little penny sleeve. See, they do use the penny sleeve. People always ask me why don't I put the cards in the penny sleeve because they're not worth a penny. If they were $1,000 sleeves, I'd put them in there. How's that? I hate the penny sleeves. What do I think of the penny sleeves? That's a third of a penny each. The 98 Tops Chrome was last night. Jmart. I like Jmart. Where were you, Jmart, last night? Should have got an email. Right before we do open a pack, even if it's the same night, we send out an email so you know what show to watch. You go to JustRipIt.com, we have a video archive. All our videos are on there for your pleasure. So if the in-laws are over, that couple you don't like, or friends are over, tell them you got some business to do. Grab your iPad, your phone, your desktop, your anything, and check it out. Ronnie Jones top. We won't put it from the bottom. It's such a cute little mini pack. It's so I feel like my hands look gigantic holding this pack. I feel like a giant. 
It's a mini. Tops hit it very successful. Very successful. Let's just get a little. Usually the freeze does the trick, but sometimes it's a little separation. It'll sometimes do the trick. All right, Ronnie, I'll put this in the freezer for you. It's Buddy Bradford. Poor guy, we can't, he's finally got out of the pack and we can't even see him. Card number 504. Got to check, yeah, check it out. We had our first box, two Mannings, two Mannings. Last box, we didn't get any, but we did get Woodson in both. Uh, and we also, I'm, I'm sorry, Moss in both also. And we have another one up there also. So check it out. It's a nice, it's a nice pack. We all love Manning. Tim Charlie, you're up. Ken Rudolph. Little print defect under the P. Card number 289. Number three, Ronnie Jones, you're up. Rookie pitchers. Rookie pitchers here. John Denny. Raleigh Eastwick. It's a nice name, Raleigh Eastwick. Jim Kern. And Juan Benotos. Card number 621, rookie pitchers in the three spot. If it was a 10, looks like a little off center. 300 and a 10. But not that bad. Gotta work on the center. Jeffrey DeBene. Molte Bene DeBene. Clay Kirby. Reds pitcher. With some guy photobombing him in the background. All right. All right. Card number five. Oh, I'm sorry, that was number four, Ronnie Jones. Four, Ronnie Jones. Five, Jeffrey DeBene. Again. Wow, Mickey Rivers. Mick, Mickey Rivers with the Angels. He started out with the Angels. Yeah, and then he went to uh, the Yankees. Mick, yeah. Mickey Rivers, a little off center there. Card number 164. Mickey Rivers. That was card number five. We're at number six. Ronnie Jones up again. Jim Wolford. Royals. Kansas City Royal outfield. They didn't even put right left or center. They put outfield on the card. Seven. Ronnie Jones up. Bill Campbell. Twin pitcher. Bill Campbell. Card number 226. Number eight for Tim Chartier. Tim's up. What's up there, Tim? Bill Madlock, Tops All-Star for the Cubbies. Bill Madlock. William Madlock. Number nine, Ronnie Jones, Joe Coleman, pitcher with a mouthful of tobacco. These minis, these are outside the centering, are very beautiful cards. These 75 sets have been really going up and getting tougher to locate. Number 10, Carl Hinton, Joe Decker. Joe hit the deck. Well, no magic. I'm happy everybody got 200 points. This is the pack. We take out and shoot in the back. Not one Hall of Famer there. But at least everyone got 200 points on top of it for our 200th pack. Wasn't a memorable one, but we'll call it as it is. We were hoping for a Brett Yount or Nolan Ryan. That would have been really historic. Okay, let's give out some dividends for that pack. Two. Two times for the dividend. One, two, Ronnie Jones, you get 300 points, and Ronnie Jones gets 200, and Carl Hinton, you get 100 for the dividends. Congratulations on that. Okay. All right. Spend $100 or more and get 2,000 points, and no one entered yet. We're coming up on our last pack, which is the charity pack. Yeah, chick, chick, boom, Don. I, you know, I gotta, that was just another bang 
what a, what a fizzler for the 200 pack, but you know what? You just never know because what's coming up next can make up a world of difference there. Okay, let me get the pack name. Okay, not, this is our actually our, I'm gonna probably most likely get a hold in about 10 minutes when we open the pack up. We were gonna call the owner of the charity. Okay, we did a charity pack several months ago. It was in Boston's and Delray Beach. It was Enrico Petroselli and Tom Zappala, both guys from PSA on the radio show. And we did a charity pack for them. It was for the Dana-Farber Cancer. It was a 1969 cello pack. Rico Petroselli was on top. He promised he'd autograph it for everybody. He did so. I brought some extra ones because, you know, the Ripper takes full advantage when you're in that situation. Sitting next to the Boston Red Sox Hall of Famer, Rico Petroselli. He signed like four or five other cards. I randomized them the day we had the pack open as well. Everyone got, was happy. The Cancer Society was happy. It was a live broadcast. It's on my news feed if you ever want to watch it. Uh, it was his 1969 card. It was great. Uh, it was a fantastic pack. And here it is, our second charity pack. It's not under our Gus program, which is graded, unsearched, and sealed. It is basically not graded, but According to my standards and my practice, these cello packs are very tough to reseal. The corners are extremely, extremely sharp. You can clearly see the Buck Hill Aces, Clem Levine. You look at the sides, everything about this looks to be in perfect condition. But because it wasn't graded, I discounted this, I believe it was $115 per card. When I would estimate this pack, graded or not, could command close to three to four thousand dollars. But we get back in your chair. Yes, several thousand dollars for this pack uh, under normal situations because it's not graded and because we're doing a good thing for everybody. What we're doing is giving a portion of the net proceeds to the victory for veterans. Uh, What's going on? Oh, see, what's up? Hail see, hail Caesar, Caesar Martinez. Uh, go to justripit.com. You'll learn everything about us. You're from Facebook. Go there, justripit.com. We're opening up a charity pack, which I discounted because it's not graded. All our packs are graded, unsearched and sealed. The boxes are all sealed, airtight. Uh, and here's our situation. We're going to try to find more of these. A, they got the, they they could be graded, but if they're not, they got to meet my certificate of approval that they are indeed sealed up and nice. Uh, it's just a great, great pack. Uh, we have our 12 people. It's victory for the veterans. I'm going to load everybody's name up now. And we will randomize. Let's randomize and get them up there. Red dice, red pack, not the red cross, victory for the veterans. Six times on the rando. Let's go rando six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sammy P, you get the Buck Hill Aces, Joseph, Joseph Aces, Joseph Axe Jr. You get the last card in the set as well, unless it's an extra one, but we just don't know. Well, let's load up. Customer list. And there we have it. Okay, spend $100 or more. You know what? No one has entered. 
So far, you get a chance to win 2,000 points. If you just spend $100, it'll be the conclusion of this pack. You can still slip it in there. I'll see the mood. If you can get it, 2,000 points plus the reward points. So you get a good 30% discount, 25% discount off the pack. Okay. Once again, Victory for Veterans provides support and assistance to the veterans of the United States and armed forces, including the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, and Coast Guard. It's in various forms, but not limited provision of clothing, food, toiletries, household items, technology, direct financial assistance. These are guys that fought hard for our country, and they really need our help, and we're here to help them. We're here to help ourselves open this pack here at JustRipIt.com. And net proceeds upon the at this pack, we're going to grade every card in here on the house to show our appreciation. It is for support our troops. Every every card holder will have a support our troops. We're going to bring them to SGC on the next couple of days, and we're going to get them graded. We keep our fingers crossed as well. And what I'm going to do right now is call up. Stacy McDonough. Let me see if I can get her on the phone. Remember, we had Richard Cohen live on the phone. I'm going to get her on the phone because I think she wants to personally thank everybody that's involved in this pack. Let me see if I can get her on the horn. It's pretty wild. Live. Will she answer? Maybe she's helping the veteran. Hello. Hello. We got Stacy on the phone. Here we are. Hello. Good evening, sports fans. She is in charge of Victory for Veterans up in New Jersey. And I think, Stacey, I kind of give a little in input on what your Victory for Veterans does. If you want to give a little added input, uh, what you do and what you're about. Yes, uh, myself and a team of the world's best volunteers. Um, every Christmas it started, but now it's throughout the year, year-round. We hand-deliver brand-new clothing, toiletries, necessities, um, and whatever else they need to homeless veterans at two transitional housing facilities here um, in New Jersey. Oh, very nice. Very good. Um, I, I think what you're doing started as a Christmas charity. Now it's 24-7, and I think these veterans deserve it. They did a lot for our country. They protect us, and we're just trying to show them our thanks for their service by donating portions of the net proceeds. Maybe the next one, if we do another one, maybe we can get a veteran in there for a card as well. Uh, I posted the names up there. Uh, I also gave you a list. I don't know if you want to repeat the names, but if you want to thank everybody on there, she wants to personally thank everybody on there. And the mic's yours. And I can't thank you enough for pronouncing all those names right. I have a lot of trouble with my dictation, but those names, I, I'm trying to, I can't get that Paduol right or Axel. Great, <laughs> excellent work. Well, Stacey, thank you very much. Everyone's very appreciative, and you're appreciative, and most importantly, the veterans are appreciative of all the money that's going to come to them to help them out. But like we say here at Just Rip It, before the crowd gets hostile, Late and she said good luck and the veterans are pulling. Let's get ready to rip. Thank you, Stacy. Enjoy the rest of the show. And we'll send you out that check as soon as everything gets unwound here. And hopefully we'll get you back on the show again. Thank you, Jess Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right. Very well. That, that, that's great. It's for real. I don't trust a lot of charities, but it's excellent work there. We thank everyone for this pack. And I can't milk it anymore, but I will go over the pack. And like I said, all these packs will be graded on the roof, on the house. This is a high-end pack. It's a fifth series. We have a fourth series, just so you know, up there. And that's 175 a card. It's a fourth series with Ernie Banks, Al Kaline, worth 20000 plus in the 10. And Billy Martin, about 5000 or so. Uh... There's only six left. We pulled in Ernie Banks. 
a couple months ago in that pack. It's a rare pack, fourth series. This is a fifth series based upon the top and bottom. It should be cards number 375 to 440. And we got Joseph Ace. Joe, is it Axe? Aces? We're, we're calling you Joe Aces. Joe Aces, the first contestant in our Spend 100, get entered to win 2,000 points. If no one else enters, Joe, you cash out 2,000. Somebody else wants to challenge them. Two people get a chance to win 2,000 points. So it's a 50-50 odds. So I'm sure Joe's hoping no one else makes a purchase. We throw it out there. We're giving the 2,000 to somebody. So thank you there, Joe. Okay, let me go over this pack real quick for the potential. Oh, Hank Aaron's in here. It's his, it's his series. 25,000 plus in a 10. Whitey Ford, 10,000 plus. And Frank Robinson, 5,000 plus in a 10. We also got Don Drysdale. Elston Howard, Hector Lopez, Rocky Calavito, Charlie Neal, Frank, and Brooks Robinson. Both Robinsons. Here's to you, Mr. Robinson, Mrs. Robinson, but it's Mr. in this case, over 4,000. We got some other popular names, Orlando Cepeda, Milt Pappas, Whitey Herzog, Wally Post, Keystone Combo, the Buck Hill Aces are right on top, Bobby Thompson, even a nine of Heron, Hank Aaron, the true home run king, in my opinion. 5,000 or more, and there's a Haywood Sullivan error card. If we pull it, we'll go over it, but there's things missing, and there's a lot going on with that card. I think there's three of them, a copyright, no circle copyright, a circled copyright, uh, three different variations of Haywood Sullivan. Whoever he was got very popular. Okay, without further ado... We thank our veterans for the service as we prepare to open this pack with the Ripper Clipper. Very carefully. Okay. That's what everybody was saying upon me doing that to the pack. Okay, we do God bless America. It's mm -hmm. very nice, but we got some, we're back now, veterans, we appreciate you for the service, but we got some ripping, cello ripping to do as we get ready to open up this cello pack. Over 50 years old, a great price. Top card is going to Sammy P. Oh, these are nice. Oh, this is going to be fun. Card number one. Support our troops. We do support them. Now we're going to see if we can support ourselves. Card number one. Buck Hill Aces. Klein, friend, Law, and Face. There they are. The Pirates. We've been staring at it. Card number 428. Thousand and a ten. Looks a little OC based upon the top. Very nice card. Sammy P. We salute you. 59 is a great series. There it is. So bright red and beautiful, just as anticipated. Number two, William Lechner, you're up. Wow, whammy. Whammy Douglas. That alone is worth a, a good lead. Whammy's throwing the ball. Looks like he's got a half an arm. I don't know what's going on there. 431, whammy Douglas. Card number two. Everything about these cards, we just needed some centering. We need some Hall of Famers. Number three, Dennis Helene. We had a whammy. Now we got a Smokey. Not Smokey Robinson. Smokey Burgess, catcher. Card number 432. Smokey Burgess. Smokey and a whammy. I need a whitey. How about a whitey? No tens in this. Nine gets some pretty good money. Smokey's number 10. Number four, Chris Krabkowski, Gus. Some crazy names. Gus Zernell, Detroit Tiger outfielder. Card number 409, Gus Zernell. So we are definitely in the fifth series. Number five, Jason Ballack. Jackie Jensen. Jackie Jensen, Red Sox. 
card number 400. Jackie Jensen. Wow, not, not many tens in this set at all. Number six, Jason. We got a team card. Washington Senators. Very nice. Very clean. Card number 397. Washington Senators. No tens at all either. It's a little OC with the yellow. It's hard to see left to right. But just outside of that little bit of centering, a beautiful card. Yeah, one of the higher value team cards in the set. The Washington Senators. Okay, number seven. Gary Marks. Ken Aspromonte. Ken looks like he didn't do as much for when he was on Washington Senators second base. Card number 424. These cards are so beautiful. The corners. Man, I just couldn't get the centering back then. But I guess that that's part of the game. But boy, these are beautiful. There's not a blemish on these at all. Absolutely beautiful. Number seven, Gary Marks. Yeah, Jason, they're all they're very nice cards. Very, very beautiful cards. Number eight, Brian Nichols. Mike Baxes, Kansas City A's infielder. Mike Baxes, card number 381. Okay, come on, a couple more chances here for Hank. Bob Miller, was he in my, yeah, Bob Miller was, this may be the best center, who's number nine? Sammy P. Bob Miller, card number 379. Now the centering got really good. Very nice. Bob Miller. 1100 and a 10. Boy, card 380 is Hank Aaron. And we got 379. We're getting close. That is a really nice card. I'm happy the centering got better. Of course, we're grading all these regardless. He's smiling. And I think, Sammy, you're smiling too, because that is really, really nicely centered card. Bob Miller. All right. I tell you one thing, centering is a little off, but so far we've pulled a Whammy, a Smokey, a Gus, and now a Granny. You can't make this up. Granny and Whammy? Granny Hamner. That's off center a little. Card number 436. There he is. No, no, Nick, it's just granny. Granny, granny, granny. Well, this next one was in my second tier. This was in my second tier. Who's number 11? Dennis Helene. Bob Will. I'll tell you the most bizarre names ever. Bob Will. Outfielder for the Cubs. Card number 388. Oh, we're at number 11. What are we at? 11. Jason Ba. I'm sorry. Number, number 11. Yep. Jason Ballack. 4,500 and a 10. OC left to right. But very, very nice card. Nice, beautiful light green. Number 11. Jason. Beautiful card. Yeah, he was one of the, he was one of the high hit cards. Bob Will. 388. Not too bad at all. No, not even a Hall of Famer. Just, just basically a hard card to get into good centering. And rounding out, Joseph. Another looks like another nicely centered card. Clem Labine, card number 403. I give that a horn for the centering. I'll tell you, 50 years ago, it was hard. 50? 41? 50? 60 years ago. Go off in a decade. No tens at all. Card number 403, but that is a nicely centered card of the back card, Clem Labine. And the back looks really nice, too. That could really come back a nice grade as well. We'll see. Yeah, let's take a close look at that. Gotta like it. Gotta love it. Okay, we were Hall of Famerless, but the vets are happy. Three or four nicely centered cards. They're all outside of that. Everything else about this, these cards are just beautiful. Uh, the Buck Hill Aces we opened up with. We had a Whammy. 
a Smokey, Gus, Jackie Jensen, a Senator team card, all right, Ken, all right, we'll throw Ken in there, Mike Baxes, Bob Miller, I think probably the best centered card in the set, Bob Miller, it's just beautiful, Look, it looks like, it's, it really is like it was pulled out of the store, out of a pack, there's our granny, he's in that good pose for fielding ground balls, Bob Will, little off center, and that's a shame, but really close, and then Clem Levine, the back card, that looks like one of our nicely centered cards in the set as well. Thank you, everybody, for that pack. We will get all these graded. I know some of the centering issues may give it a low grade, but they are beautiful cards. It is, thank you, DJ, a very good pack. We have a 59 up there for 175 a card, and that's a PSA graded pack. Uh, it's one, that one's winding down, too, with Banks and et cetera, other Hall of Famers there as well. Uh, Gary Marks just spent the hundred, so now we have two in the promo, two people. So Joe, you got a little company, two people. Uh, for when well, we'll do that as far as the wheel, two people have a chance to win two thousand points. Even though this was a charity pack, even though net proceeds are going to the Victory for Veterans, even though we're grading every pack on the house, we're still giving out dividends to everybody. We will randomize the list three times. Three times on the rando. One, two, three. Brian Nichols, we thank you for your support. 900 points. Sammy P, 600. Dennis Helene, 300 points. Congratulations on that. Very good. Clem is my uncle. Mark, really? Clem? This guy here is your uncle? Make sure he's the right Clem here from uh Woodsocket. I can't even read. From Rhode Island? All oh, right. Uncle Clem from Mark. Yo, yo, yelly. Uncle Clem. All right. Very nice. Very good. Great pack. We're going to send these right to SGC. Uh, and we'll get those graded. I don't know how many we got left in the uh, promo. We have some promos up there. If anybody else is looking, help Rip It Crew just able to start watching. Good job on the vet pack. Yes. That's up there, Jeremy. Uh, you just joined us. We opened up with an 85 pack. We did a 75 mini, and we got our charity pack, which you just could rewind and watch. We just pulled some great, beautiful, colorful cards on there as well. Well, everybody, if you joined us late, we have to say thank you for joining us. Our charity pack was a huge success. Oh, we, oh, well, we got the promo. Holy cow. We, oh, don't, uh, there we go. Hold on. Whoa. Last chance to spend 100 or more and you get 2,000 points. We just got two people. Joseph and Gary. Okay. Everything ain't everything. Last call for the promo. Last call for the promo. I'll delay it 30 seconds, not to get Gary or Joe mad. Just found this channel. Looking forward to joining a break. Eric, we came on at 7 o'clock. We ripped through three packs. Thank you for joining us. Uh, go to JustRipIt.com. We have plenty of promotions up there, new customer promotions, uh, plenty of giveaways. Uh, just a fantastic situation there. Uh, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Whether you're a customer or not, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, you get to notified on all our breaks and what's uh, happening. Tuesdays are two times Tuesday. We give reward points to anybody who buys a card in our pack. And at the end, we also uh, give out dividends. We have equity packs outside of that. Check it out again. You missed a great three-hour show last night. I tell you, my knuckles are still a little sore. We had a, a box break, 12 wrestling packs, some key packs there. We got plenty of packs on our inventory. We got some new ones, like I said, we're going to be listing over the weekend. 
We just flood the site with a lot of packs that are up there. It's a beautiful cellos and waxes, box breaks, and go all the way to the bottom. We got our wrestling set break as well. And some of these boxes are winding down. The Tiger Woods box is down to six. Uh, everything else is pretty much in the teens, including our Allen and Ginter. We pulled the rip card. Go check out our rip clip. If you, if you missed the show, it's a condensed version of that. And I think it's time. And share the video. So let's put in Gary and Mark. Gary and Joe. Gary Mark's Joe. Thank you, everybody, once again for that charity pack. As we will send those cards off to get graded and feature them on our grade parade. Okay, well, random, should we randomize or spin the wheel? I think we're going to have to spin the wheel. I think that may just be easier. Because the randomization is just too, wow. That's going to be pretty cool. Okay, we'll randomize anyway. Two times. A little confused here. Randomize. Let's just go two times. One. Two. Two? Yep, two. Joe, you're in the one slot. It's a two-horse race, everybody. Two-horse race. Joe in the one. Gary in the two. We will spin the wheel for 2,000 points. Gary Marks, congratulations. You get 2,000 reward points on this historic charity pack live stream. And if you join this late, watch the show. We had a great 59 charity pack. We had the owner of the Victory for Veterans come on. And I'd like to thank everybody for joining us tonight. That concludes our live broadcast. We'll be back next week with some more ripping. We check out our website for new packs, boxes. Always look at our promos. Always worth it. Maximize your value. Do everything you got to do to re increase your return on your investment. And thank you, everybody, for helping us dig up cardboard treasure. And we'll see you in six days and 23 hours. Good night, everybody.